everybody. This is Christina with Dirt Road Diva. Today I am going to be doing something that I promised a long time ago. When we were in the construction period of this home, well, we still kind of are, but when we were really in it and not living in the home yet, I kept saying, when we get done, we're going to give a grand tour. But we moved in in April and here it is almost the end of the year and we still have not done a grand tour. There's a lot of areas that still aren't finished and there's a lot more areas that are finished, but I kept thinking, well, I would just wait until everything was done. But I've changed my mind and I have decided to go ahead and do one room at a time. So I'm gonna start with the smallest room, which is right behind me. This is our downstairs bathroom. I'm just going to point out some of the neat things that my husband did and some ways that we saved money to be able to build this house without a mortgage. It was painful and it was a long process. It took us five years, but the part that we're living in here was all completely done out of our pockets. I'm gonna give you some tips and ideas. I know that they're not for everybody. Not everyone uh, is able to go out and pull old logs out of the forest and you know, debark them and put them up in your house. But maybe there's some things that you are able to do. For instance, the doors right here, we bought these at a local family owned lumber yard that we really appreciate. My husband has a relationship with them and they have a relationship with him and they were really key in helping us get our house built and keep things going. And so we ordered our hardwood doors through them. They're solid wood. And then like I stained all of the doors myself. As far as the trim around the doors, my husband is no trim carpenter, but he sawed the logs and then he stripped down the boards and sanded it and then I stained it. And that's how we did the trim throughout our house. So it's just things like that, little decisions that instead of buying the fancy molding from Lowe's or someplace like that, we figured out, is this something that we could do for ourselves? I will be sharing tips like that if you're building a home and trying to do it affordably, maybe even without a mortgage. But if that's not your goal, that's okay too, because believe me, there were times when we thought, we should just go get a mortgage and get this baby wrapped up, but we didn't. We were living in a little house on the property and we were fine sticking that out and being able to come over here at night after my husband was done working and on weekends. So the house was just built here and there as we could, here and there as we had the money. And with that, uh, everything isn't cookie cutter and it's not what you would see when you walk into a subdivision and it's not what you're going to see when you're looking at farmhouse on Instagram, but it is what worked for us and it is what we like and most importantly, it's what we could do and it is what God blessed us with. I prayed every step of the way for God to provide for us, to provide the next thing and make a way and somehow it was always there. Every single thing that we needed from the appliances to the window to the stone and the logs, uh, just everything was provided in the right time and in a way that we could afford it. I hope that this gives you some inspiration and if not inspiration, I hope it at least just entertains you and I'd like to invite you to go ahead and get this tour started. I think that the door is really pretty. It's a solid wood door that we got from our local lumber yard, Main Street Lumber. And it's a small family owned lumber yard, but they do a lot of business because they have excellent service. As you go in, the first thing that you see is a stone wall. It goes from the floor all the way to the ceiling. And that is where the shower is. I'll give you a little overview first. It's a small room, so there's not a whole lot to see. 
I bought these on sale at a local store called Muddy Pearl because I just loved them. It has gold tipped feathers and then little bows and arrows painted in fun colors. This stone is something that I have in my office also and we have left over. So we thought we could save money by going ahead and utilizing it again. But as so many things went in this build, um, we didn't have enough and we ended up having to go ahead and buy more. Some of the stone in the house, my husband actually picked straight out of the ground, but this stone is not that type of stone. It is some type of Colorado River rock. Everyone asks if it is hard to keep it clean. I will say that really it's not the main challenge is that we have hard water. That makes it a little bit hard, but just the cleaning of grime and stuff like that isn't hard. And we did a little light in the shower because of course the stone is so dark. The shower fixtures were definitely a challenge for my husband to build around. He had to make the stones fit that shape. And then after he did the mortar, he had to do like lots of grinding to get it down. And this is a relatively small shower. So we put the shower head up in the corner, which maybe we didn't need to do in hindsight, but we thought that would be best at the time. So that's what we did. But they are something that I bought at like an overstock type of store and I bought them a few years ago so I'm sure they are not available anymore. The mirror that says believe in yourself, I bought that at a sample sale. I got the light fixture at Goodwill for I think about $15 so that was quite a deal there. My husband poured the countertops and I am going to insert some pictures at the end of the video that shows part of the process of him doing the countertops. I really like the rough edge and so that's something that we did throughout the home. On this we did an epoxy surface and then this is the stone sink. I have shown it closer in a couple videos before but if this is your first time seeing it my husband just started out with a big stone and then carved it out and made it into a sink and in the future I think he'll probably do a how-to video on that it is fall right now while I'm filming this so we've got some fall decor here and there and everywhere we needed a place to put our towels and some supplies for my daughter. So we went ahead and cut this little area out of the wall and it goes underneath the stairwell on the other side of the wall. That is about all that there is to the bathroom tour. We did the sheetrock ourselves. None of us are sheetrock people, so actually it was my brother-in-law that came over and helped us, and we did a technique that we could do by hand so we didn't have to, you know, rent special machinery or anything like that. On this ceiling, we used the car siding and then we just stained it. It wasn't too hard to do at all and it gave it a more finished off look. 
So that is the grand tour of our bathroom. My favorite part is the shower, and I'm gonna scoot back a little bit here and see if you can get a better look at it. Well, thank you for joining me, and stick around because I'm going to show some more pictures of the building process on this room. When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side, our fears are done. All the good times just begun. Oh, we know what we have, let's hold on tight. Found what we're looking for in life. Call us crazy, but things are finally right. are in the downstairs bathroom. Say hi, honey. Hi. And Damien is making a concrete countertop for the bathroom down here. Can you explain what you're doing right there? What is that blue thing? Before I sleep. So this is the inside of that, and then you pour the concrete up to it. Make sure you and that's what gives the edge that neat appearance that you'll see in our after video. And then can you tell us about the stone here? Where did you get it? How much did it start out weighing? That type of stuff? I bought this from a stone yard. It's actually called Red It was a... Uh, I think 180 something, not, not quite 190 pounds. Wow. And you carved it out, and that is going to be the sink yes. for down here. Okay, the concrete countertop for the downstairs bathroom has begun. You and I can weather any storm.